Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to highlight or show some kind of marker at the touch points wherever the user touches on your Android uh, in, inside the Android app. So, we will use something called pop up window concept here. So, let's begin. The app is pretty simple. I will create a new project. Uh, name of the project could be highlight the highlight touch points. Touch points. Based on the things I leave as it is and click finish. I'll wait for my environment to load. Once the environment loads up, I will run my um, uh, the app in the emulator so that it can load in parallel when I'm doing my other stuffs. In terms of app, it's pretty simple. In the main uh, layout, I don't think I'll do much of the stuffs. I'll do one more thing. I'll create another lay layout which we'll use as a pop-up window. And I'll just right click over here in the resource layout folder and layout resource and name this say for example my marker underscore layout okay you can name this anything it doesn't matter and what i'll do is in this marker layout uh, i'll just set the background color as some color which i want to show as a marker so say for example i'll set it to probably red which will be more uh, evident and visible so that's all i'll not do anything else on this pop-up window uh, and then I'll come to my the main layout. In a main layout, uh, I don't think any functionality is needed to be added. But what I'll do is I'll just add few widgets to see how our marker acts or reacts when our touch points are on different kinds of uh, widgets. Say for example, there will be one text view. I'll make it a little more bigger probably. I'll add one button. I don't think marker will come on button because on button it will be the button which will take the control anyway let's see one image view probably also i'll add i'll give it say some icon make it a little bigger and also probably i'll add a plain text to see how it comes up and i'll just add it over here yeah perfect so i've added few widgets none of the widgets will have any functionality i'm not going to add any code for any of these widgets it's just for display purpose and yeah so i just give the constraints required to each of these widgets perfect on the right hand side i can see uh, the layout the app is not loaded i'll rerun and see what happened anyway and uh, layout is done now in the java code which is the main part what we'll do is in the java code we'll add something called as on touch event method which is a uh, override method yeah and in this method we'll use the our pop-up inflator to inflate it so let's see how we'll do so first and foremost what we'll do is we'll check the event whether the event is uh, the motion event the or the event is touched down or not get action so this should be equal to motion event action no i yeah i think this one touched down and if it's true then that means the user has pressed or clicked or touched the screen somewhere and that's where and that is where we'll inflate our pop-up window the marker layout over here so let's see first and foremost we'll capture the coordinates the points where this events the has has been captured from this event uh, variable so we'll have int x which is the x part and we'll use this event dot get get x so I think this will be an error because it's a float type and cast to int or our rather than casting what I'll do is I will just round it off to the nearest int. Yes. So once we have it, so x coordinate, we'll do the similarly for the y coordinate. So we'll do a get y and over here the variable will be get y. So we'll use this x and y coordinates, the x and y uh, values as the points where this has to get the mark now we will create something called layout inflator uh, service layout inflator and we will take it from get system service dot no. layout inflator service perfect i think we may have to type cast it so cast it to layout inflator okay and once we have it then we will try to inflate our pop-up window so what i will do is i'll just create view and name this view as probably 
view layout inflator and we'll use the layout inflator which we have just now created our to inflate our this particular layout which is r dot layout dot and the marker layout and the second argument will be uh, view group root i think i can make it just uh, yeah so once we have it uh, the inflated uh, in this particular variable then we will use it to show it as a pop up window so what i will do is i'll create a pop up window so pop up window pop up window and over here in this pop up window i'll create new pop up window and in the constructor we will need as the first argument will be the layout inflator uh, what else the second could be the width and the height so over here uh, we can choose how much big we want that marker to be so i think let's start with 40 40 and that's all i guess uh, then focus all we can make it true then we can set it where to show this uh, pop-up window show at location and we'll need the parent view so for parent view what we can do is we can get the uh, view of the window get window dot get decor view dot get root view so yeah this will give me the view of the my app which is the parent over here and then the gravity so where whether it should be down or up so let me see what are the options which we have i think i'll go with no gravity because i will like to point it to the uh, point where i click so and x and y are the coordinates which are basically my in x and in y which we have just now uh, captured from the uh, this events so that's all i think this will show up my windows of uh, pop up window i can do one more thing i can set the on touch listener on this view so whenever uh, this pop up window comes what to do when the user touches it new view on touch listener and on touch which is uh, like uh, yeah the default method what i'll do is i will just make sure that this particular uh, window pop up window dismisses or disappears yeah so perfect so let me rerun this code that's all is what i think is required yes so i think code has come up perfect so if i'm clicking somewhere if you notice a red dot a square kind of dot is coming and that is there unless i touch somewhere else so this is so easy using the pop-up window we can see okay let me click on button now on button it will not come up but on anywhere else say for example on this text view is coming on image it's coming on the empty space is coming on edit text is not coming because i think it's trying to capture the it's, uh, text so it's not coming but in most of the visits it's coming up the place where i'm clicking so yeah it's coming up and the i would like to explain this line of 40 this this uh, use of this particular method so the use of this method is say for example if you click somewhere if you click somewhere else that pop-up window will definitely go up but if you click on that same pop-up window then also it will go up because of this line of the code so what i'll do is i'll remove this line of the code to make the code simpler and then also i think it will work because anyway our size of the pop-up window is pretty small so let's see how it comes up Perfect. So if you notice, the only difference is if I click on top of that, it will still remain. It will not disappear. Uh, unlike the previous case, it was disappearing. But if you click anywhere else, uh, it will disappear. And that makes sense because anyway, most likely the, uh, you just want to capture the point or highlight the point uh, where you are clicking. So that's all. I hope this uh, useful is this video is useful to you. And if you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section uh, below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.